if you're ever feeling like you want to beat your meat, think about Vegeta. I think he would sit there and beat his meat to a low and uh, executor. It's like, no, he wouldn't. Welcome back to Pokemon Ultra Sun and Moon. We are back with another episode. And last time, we just ended off picking our starter. So we're going to go ahead and just follow the routes. Pick a totem Pokemon. I'm pretty sure we have to fight like a giant Yongoose or something. Whatever the fuck it's called. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Fight all these trainers. And then see if we can battle the fat ass Kahuna. The fucking fat ass Watson. You know Caterpie is literally the best Pokemon ever created. Like think about it. This little caterpillar, the size of my cock, so it's pretty fucking big, right? It's like this big. It literally can take out any legendary. Oh, I have a fire Pokemon. I have a fucking Incineroar, you fucking idiot, bro. You know why I didn't pick Incineroar? Because Caterpie would have literally fucking murdered him. Literally. Let's see if there's any good Pokemon on this route that we can catch. Baneri, eh, I would smash, but to actually use you on my team. You know, it's not really worth it. You know, I'd run like the whole team would run a train on you. But the actual team, we don't want to. Okay, so there seems to be some like weird Martian people here. I forgot that uh, Lolan Executor, it like exists from this game. I'm over here just like seeing them in Pokemon Violet and shit. I hope we're not too under leveled though. Okay, that might be a problem. If he has Thundershock, it will be a problem. I hope we have potions. So I was not ready for this. And water gun. Oh, okay, okay. This is bad. Okay, as long as he doesn't crit, I, I think we have a potion to heal. So as long as we're able to heal and he has no crits, we should be fine. Okay, so let's go ahead and heal right here. Please have a potion. How many do we have? Seven. Okay, perfect. I don't even remember buying these bitches, but I guess we got them. It was probably that fucking snow bunny with the nebby that gave me them. Because you already know, bro. These white girls, like, if you want a strong wife that's very submissive, you need to get a white blonde. Because they will do whatever you tell them to do. And they will suck dick on command. Literally on command. And then they'll pack your Pokemon potions in your backpack. So in case you're ever in a little pickle like I am now, they're ready to go. And you got a blowjob. So it's like the best thing you can do versus i feel like the darker skinned women would probably not pack your lunch and your potions and they probably put their hands on you because they're known to do that oh and we learned a fairy move perfect see disarming voice you need to use disarming voice on darker skin women <laughs> oh, it's not very effective i should have known if we die it's my fault Okay, so that dude was literally a piece of cake, bro. What a joke of a rival. I hate how these rivals, they're getting so much easier. They're literally picking the weak Pokemon against you. Remember, like, back in every other generation before Gen Z? They would literally pick the hardest Pokemon. Like, if you got Timchar, they would pick Piplup. You know what I mean? But it's like, now, they just want you to, like, just... It's too easy, you know what I mean? Look at my blonde little bitch! What the fuck is my dinner, bitch? Cook! Or literally, if your mom doesn't cook for you, you need a new mom because the Bible says this. The moment you turn 18 as a man, you have authority over that fucking bitch. Literally! So she needs to cook you dinner every fucking night until you move out. And then when you move out, then you just get a wife to do the same thing. You know, the only thing I don't like about this Nora game is that, well, it's not even new. I'm pretty sure this shit's a decade. If you want to feel old, Pokemon Sun and Moon is what, like a decade old? About? But yeah, the cutscenes are just way too long for the battle, bro. Oh, they actually do the animation in this game. Like, you have to actually pick it up. Okay, where can I get a Lolan Executor? I want to use that shit, bro. Because it's as big as my cock, bro. I can really stroke. Pause. Pause. I never do that shit, bro. If you're ever feeling like you want to beat your meat, think about Vegeta. First of all, you'll get turned off. But then it's like the best saying in the whole universe. You think he would sit there and beat his meat to a low and, um, Executor? It's like, no, he wouldn't. Oh, shit, they got baddies in this game, Natasha. Oh, my God. I'm about to literally blow you out the park, and then you're gonna fucking blow me when we get fucking home, bro. 
and I'm gonna throw you in the ocean because they're useless. Bro, his house is just like the anime. Like, they have the fish tank and everything. What the fuck? Okay, underrated Pokemon anime, Pokemon Ultra Sun and Moon. Like, the detail is literally exact. And it was just the best. Like, they literally went into outer space in, like, different dimensions. Like, it was some Dragon Ball Z shit, bro. It's like, what other anime does that? Like, Naruto? Even Dragon Ball Z itself. One Piece, bro. If you watch One Piece, it's like, you're a loser. You need to just watch Pokemon. It's the best anime ever. Guys, remember when we all thought Rotom was a legendary in Pokemon, like Diamond, Pearl, and Platinum? Because you went into the house... And the legendary music started playing and you're like, oh, I got a steal. And then it turns out it's like weak as hell. It's not that weak as like it's pretty decent, but like it doesn't evolve. Not crazy stats. It's just, you know, good special attack, I guess. But other than that, it's like we all thought it was a legendary and we all got scammed. We literally all got scammed, bro. Sue Nintendo. Okay, another nurse joy as always, right? We have like 50 of them. Their parents just keep fucking reproducing, bro. They're literally clones at this point. They're literally Kanye-type clones, bro. And it's like Brock is lucky because Brock's smashing all of them, bro. I mean, if I was him, yeah, I've had a, I would have a 50-some with every Nurse Joy in all the fucking Pokemon regions. Okay, we are officially at the trainer school, which is a scam because any sort of schooling system is a scam. It's all propaganda and they brainwash an entire generation of kids man it's sad because i might actually have to censor what i just said but if you know you know at least po i use the thing i rather send my kids to pokemon school than public school and like what learn about fucking lgbtq at five years old and then it's like these teachers literally prey on the young and it's disgusting and i don't even mean sexually i mean like intellectually like these teachers try to indoctrinate your children with all this liberal shit it's like it's dumb it's ridiculous we need to just stop public schooling and homeschool our kids that's the only way to you know, it's the result for this. The only way we can get this done. So we have to battle all these stupid little kids. That's actually genius. A rock, paper, scissors, and it's like fire, grass, water. I'm gonna make that a fucking trend now. Oh, this is like the preschool classroom. Why are, why are we in the preschool classroom with all these underage children, bro? And we're gonna battle one? Hashtag pedo Pause, pause, never. What the fuck? Okay, Metapod. Metapod, Metapod, shut the fuck up, bro. I'm gonna fucking smoke you right now. Drown in my water. I forgot, we have a lowland grimer and muck. Fucking disgusting. And we're just water. We're not fairy type, right? Youngster Joey is in like every fucking game. We can catch Zora in this game? Oh, we're gonna use him. What the fuck? I didn't even know. Okay, so how do we catch this thing? We're gonna use water gun. Water gun shouldn't knock it out. Don't knock it out, don't knock it out, don't knock it out. Okay, good, good, good. And then we'll go ahead and level him up too. Bet. I didn't know you could catch Zora this early on. Okay, looks like we have our second team member. <laughs> I said some rock raw. Fuck that, bro. We got Zora. Zora work. I've never used it, but we're gonna fucking use it. Oh! It's illusion. I was like, why the fuck is my Pop Leo level 5? I was like, that shit made no sense. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> okay. I'm like, did I switch to a level somehow? I forgot Zora could do that, bro. I feel like a fucking noob. Hey, we defeated him. So much for a rising star. You're a fucking clown. Like Poplio. Okay, good. We got Cuckoo to level six. Oh, level seven. Good. Yeah, I never like... Did you guys even like any of your teachers growing up? I, I literally despise every single one because they're not real like they're all npcs and shit and it's like i haven't even seen them but i saw one recently and bitch i even fatter it's like all these teachers suck i've never had a teacher that i liked bro and if any teacher i've ever had sees this fuck you you fucking whore no i did not like you now there's a couple right there's a couple i would smash don't get me wrong but it's like the moment they open their mouth it's like erectile dysfunction you know what i mean Okay, please don't use Leafage again, and we'll go ahead and use Baby Dolls, or I'm sorry, Disarming Voice, don't use Leafage. Fuck! Damn, look how close that is, bro. It goes first, though, so I'm pretty sure we just lost. It is what it is.
Yeah, we lost. There's no way. <sighs> I will, we're going to go ahead and wrap up the episode there because I'm going to just train off camera because I'm out of time. But make sure you guys like and subscribe. And then we'll be back to fucking beat that stupid bitch, Emily. And then we'll be on our way for hopefully to the totem Pokemon. So, yeah. Peace.